So is it wrong with Allah to ask help from unseen spirits? Is it wrong from what? Is it wrong with Allah to ask help from unseen spirits? Mm. I just gave the whole talk. Yeah. No, just gave the whole talk that this is the dalil of asking for madad. That a Prophet of Allah is means one whom you assume has the highest connection with Allah is asking from his community of seen and unseen and asking, who can bring me the throne? So no, it's a hundred percent humble to ask. And that's why they teach how to ask. So it means that if you're in the tariqah listening, your system of asking is madad. Learn, train on how to do the madad. You connect with the shaykh, ask from the shaykh, connect your heart with the shaykh because there's a system and in dealing with these unseen realities is you have to ask that what's seen to you. Otherwise imagine becoming hijacked because you can't see. So when you can see you say, this shaykh that I see, I know what he looks like, I know what he sounds like, I have to ask for the madad and then I visualize that he's in front of me, yeah that's what he looks like, this is what he sounds like so that you can verify your connection. But can you just ask for an entity name? No, most likely you're going to be like the exorcist and be possessed in a second. Because you don't know who you're calling, what you're calling and that's not the system. So you, you have to buy three meditation books and give two of them out and read one. The whole system is based on madad and connection with the shaykh, nothing else. It's a dangerous, dangerous system if you go outside of that, just calling upon anything you can see. That's why we descri described in so many talks that these people who have the spirit guides and all this other stuff, very dangerous. They can't see what they're connecting with and especially if they come around us they have all sorts of snakes and scorpions and, and horrific energies. So the, no, that's not the way at all. The way is to… and the discipline is through the madad. This was addressing… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. All the other people who come online from all the other crazy understandings that there is nobody to ask. You shirk, you ask only Allah because they're under the dajjal fire not to enter into the rahmah and the paradise of Allah When they're under the illusion of dajjal fire they're continuously thinking about fire, fire, fire and they have no way to Allah's mercy. Allah's mercy is in calling upon Rijalullah, calling upon the servants of Allah I'm in need and I need a help and it's a sign of humility. Because a Prophet of Allah in Surah Al Naam is asking for the help, who can bring me this throne before they submit in Islam? So alhamdulillah, you have to read the meditation book, you have to understand it so that the whole system is understood. Otherwise if somebody tunes in on one talk and tunes back out, Allah knows what, what somebody got as an understanding. It's a whole system inshaAllah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ya Sayyidi Wa alaykum as-salamu alaykum 
So the person who had knowledge of book in Sayyidina Suleiman's time, is that book in reference to the soul of Prophet No, that was in the time of Sayyidina Suleiman we're talking Muhammadan realities, they're talking from the realities of their book, their Torah, the Psalms and Torah at that time. Because this was from the Kitab al-Dawood which was the Psalms and Sayyidina Sulaiman was the son of Sayyidina Dawood. So they're taking from the haqqaiqs of their Kitab. We're telling you that Muhammadun Rasulullah is the reality of all their Kitabs. Did they know that? I don't know. I can't speak to that, I don't think they're only I knew that at all. So they were asking for a ring from God for power, he was asking for a ring of power. He said, I want more power and wealth than the people whom are asking me for help because I'm poorer than them. How can I help a people whom I don't have any authority or power or wealth? And Allah sent Sayyidina Sulaiman a ring and that ring is from the Sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad and that's called tawassul, by means of the ring he had power. Not by means of asking Allah, Allah said, I will send for you a ring and if he wore the ring he had power, that's tawassul. If he took the ring off he had no power. So one time Allah tested him for doing something incorrect and the freed were able to steal his ring. And as soon as they stole his ring, his power was taken and he was unrecognizable. So the power didn't exist within him, it didn't, it wasn't granted by Allah upon his persona, it was granted in the barakah and the sunnah of the ring of Sayyidina Muhammad so when he lost that authority, he lost that ring. As a result then the power was gone. So again people think it's only Allah and now they come against the sunnah rings. But these are people whom they have nothing to do with Qur'an anymore, they work for shaitan. And the Qur'an is teaching in this surah the life of Sayyidina Sulaiman is based on the power of that ring. When you get a ring from awliyaullah, it's not like a ring you bought from Costco. If you use your mind with the tariqah and with specific shaykhs, you lost already. If you think you're clever, you lost. We said that Balul was selling paradise in matchsticks and he made a stick of house and he sold for one dirham. And when they have a dream at night that, what is this? This is your house in paradise. Where you got this from? I got from Balul. For one dirham I bought this little house of matchsticks, of sticks. So it means that Allah works in mysterious ways. So when they have a ring from the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad with all your faith you have to know that that is an energized ring, a barakah and a blessed ring and that you're carrying and reviving the way of Sayyidina Muhammad it must have an immense blessing within it. And at any time necessary Prophet can activate it and it may be the source of immense blessings in somebody's life. Same with the cane. Everything in Prophet when you love means that's what we described. If you don't know whose birth you're celebrating, well then the celebration isn't very important for you. So people whom don't celebrate, they're telling you, I have no idea who Sayyidina Muhammad is. They give their hand up, right? They're not clever, it's just you're the doctor now, you can say, oh so you don't really know who you're celebrating because therefore you're not celebrating it. And when you don't celebrate it correctly then you're also saying you don't really correctly know who Prophet is. But one who knows, knows. The one who knows, that's why the nat is describing, the one who knows they celebrate in a big way, in a big way. Why? Because they want an immense amount of credit. 
They want to be recognized by Prophet they want to be recognized by Allah for the immensity of that secret. That, Ya Rabbi dress me from that reality. So what do you think then when describing that the, a ring opened for Sayyidina Sulaiman his entire kingdom? What about the one whom owns all universes and everything that coming into existence? Many have dreams of the rings and what, what reality is being dressed by them from Imam Ali So means these are immense, the one whom has the sunnah of the asa, what type of reality is within that? And that they got the asa from the shaykh, no they just went somewhere and got an asa, that's one reality but they got it from the shaykh, they got the ring from the shaykh. They got their sunnah clothes from the shaykh, he's outfitting an army. One day they'll know, you think it's something normal? Maybe that's the only suit that you'll have that protect you from fire. So you may have one skin and think you won't burn and there's someone who may have a thousand skins and will burn if not the hand of Imam Ali upon them. So means these things are coming onto this earth that people can't even comprehend. They don't know what's going to protect them and what not going to protect them. But those who know, alhamdulillah they know. Those who have a reverence and revere and love Sayyidina Muhammad well then they must be thinking that yeah their sunnah rings must have power. Because one they're reviving the sunnah and the hadith that anyone who revives the sunnah has the ajr and the reward of 70 martyrs. And the one whom revives the sunnah means you buy a siwak, 70 martyrs you have the reward. You buy a ring, you have the 70 martyrs as a reward because you're reviving the sunnah of Prophet that's one. But what about the secret that coming? That being conveyed from the tariqah and from the shaykh, what power is coming, what authority, what mulk is coming, what type of protection comes with their cane that you can't see but their freet and shaitans can see. But if people using their head then that's a, a difficult place in this world to use your head especially when we teach all day long. Not to use your head but use your heart, this world of light is something completely different than this physical realm. And that's what the Illuminatis are all about, they imitate everything, imitate everything. They want to open every type of reality from that reality. Even the floor you go into their businesses is black and white tile, why is that? We described that before. Because they continuously want something from the shadows, the white represents the realm of seen and the black is the support from the unseen. Because they're trying to copy again the system of Sayyidina Sulaiman and they call themselves master builders because they think it's about building. But no this is about Allah authorizing the soul that they are from the people whom they love the kitab, they studied the life and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result the light of Prophet dressed them and blessed them and now they are teaching the kitab of Allah So these are immense. When you have that love you know who you're celebrating. When you have that love you know why you're wearing your ring, you know why your, your most important outfit in your closet is your sunnah outfit. That's the one you're going to wear that hopes that protect you from a fire that comes upon this earth. Not your Hugo Boss or whatever famous name you have, that's not going to save you, that actually going to burn you. The one that saves you is what you have from Prophet inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa If you were tricked into joining the gel system in the past, does that mean ifrit is attached? Will they attack more as we enter deeper into tariqah? 
if you had the ability to join the tariqah then the alhamdulillah like a tag team wrestling. As soon as you're able to watch the videos then the shaykh's madads and supports are drawing you nearer in and going after them. But if they have a hold on somebody and they can't even watch the videos, can't bring them closer to the teachings then they're holding them down. But all that's necessary is just to begin to watch them and make your eye contact with them and watch their videos. As soon as you watch them their souls are now attached to that individual and they go after those beings. And in the light of the angels of Jahannam those beings have no power and no authority, they're scared to death of Sayyidina Malik. You know all that they do on earth is in the hopes that they never have to go and enter into their Jahannam spot. But what Allah gave to awliyaullah is the guardians of Jahannam guard them so that when they see those creatures that reminds them of their spot in hellfire. So they don't come near that type of understanding and that's Allah's protection for these people. So they're not using regular protection that people have from earth, they use the, the guardians of hell that guard them to capture those creatures and put them back into hell where they belong inshaAllah. Uh, as salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah So what can I do to get my family and friends to see this level of understanding and reality of Miladun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tafakkur, zikr and these and this beacons of light? Right now nothing, make sure that you're strong in your belief and they don't cut you off. Because if you spread people too much information then they start to tell you not to do this, not to do and cut you off from everything. So it's best to make and fortify one's belief themselves, that they believe, they're strong, they understand the tariqah and then anonymously send people the short videos now that are YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, the short videos that are 60 seconds, boom, 60 seconds, boom, there's not much to argue and fight about. They just hear it and see if they liked it and slowly, slowly it can begin to spark an interest into people. So we're finding much more success with the short version versus ha half an hour long nobody wants to sit for the half an hour unless they're very dedicated and they want then the full talk, they can get the full talk like the talks now that are coming onto YouTube, they get the full version. The short appetizers then are for people whom at least they like to snack a lot. So you give them short, short, short and then they, they got it. If they're interested they can come deeper into the talks and into the understandings inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum shaykh Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah There were people on Instagram who were Muslims and asked for donations. I tried to help them but had to block them and unfollow when I couldn't help them. How should we have good character and how do we treat the people online? Well we've had many talks on that, stay away from everything. You, you follow your shaykh, you follow the shaykh's charities, the, the books, the records, the, the online articles, whatever we're publishing, you're only coming online for that. You're not coming into the devil's playground now to click and go to everywhere and start talking to this one, chatting with this one, donating to this one, donating to that one, no. That's why this has all been put together is so that people have one, a place to put their faith in action and one to propagate our teachings. We said before, if you think so and so relief is okay to give money to, it's not about the money, it's about what they're going to teach. Those relief organizations, so-called Muslim organizations, they go to Ahlus Sunnah countries and they say, oh Ahi, you know why we have to give you a bag of rice? It's because your practices are wrong, Allah's not happy with you. That you know, oh this tasbih you have in your hand and oh what's this on your neck? Oh you have taweez? Oh this is forbidden, you have tasbih and, and beads? No, no, that's why we have to give you rice. They use the opportunity to feed and do their charity as a means in which to do their dawah. 
and they, they do their da'wah and destroy the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah. So people who team up with them think, oh it's the charity and the noble thing. No, it's not the charity. It's with that ten dollars comes their ten words that destroys the hearts and souls of people. So with, uh, with Allah's support and the support of tariqah, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad we do a little but it goes a long way and our people propagate the tariqah. Not on the you don't get the bag of rice but here's a bag of rice and this is brought to you by these shaykhs. And that this is what we love, this is the love of Sayyidina Muhammad, we do a milad with them and celebrate and the children are, are celebrating a milad. So that they go away remembering that Prophet loves them, you know, brought them cake, brought them carnival, brought the… you see the milad in, in what the, these people did in Pakistan in seven different or, orphanages they brought them all together to spread that Prophet loves them. Well, of course it's going to be remembered by these children. How often do you think that happens for an orphan child in these countries? So means this, this goes a long way in our belief system. So it's not the ten dollars I give here or there, it doesn't matter where I give, it matters exactly where you give. And if you give to Christian organization they say, no you have to have this rice and put this cross on your head too. So you can't do that, we don't do that, you, you're not going to use your money as a, as a means in which to torment people and then to make them to lose their faith to have a bag of rice. So that's why it's, it, it's created, that's why Allah's support behind it inshaAllah and the, the barakah and the blessings. We don't have to go everywhere but where we do go and the support that we do give it goes in the right direction with the right aqeedah and the right belief system inshaAllah. So that, that's a, immensely important. We traveled the world for 30 years so we know what these organizations do, we know what they're they're known for, they know uh, what watch list they're on because of all the other things that they're involved in. But the worst for us is that the belief system and that ten dollars they go and tell everybody that everything they're doing is haram and then change a whole community based on the relief. So very dangerous, very bad systems that they've incorporated within their products, inshaAllah. <clears throat> InshaAllah Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzat Amin Azeetun Wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen Wa Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ila Sharaf Al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Wa Alaihi Wasallam Wa Kiram Wa Alaihi Mushaykhina Fi Tariqata Nashbandiyyat Al Aliyya Wa Sayyira Wa Sadaqatina Wa Siddiqeena Al Fatiha Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.